welcome back to my channel welcome to a brand new video i'm so excited for this one but before we get into it you know i'm gonna do the normal um my name is amelia if you don't know me i upload reading oh my god, oh my god. Um, reading videos so reading vlogs book videos lifestyle videos kind of thing sometimes and vlogs like weekly or weekend vlogs oh my god i should have probably made sure i was asleep in my eyes before i did this my sunday my hoop feels blurry i am so tired um anyway um if you do enjoy this kind of content like mainly book videos because that's what i've got coming up for you a lot this year i will have a lot of other things coming up hopefully some more a bit more travel content and vlogs but if you like so if you like travel well, i won't say travel because i'm not going to be traveling like constantly if you like travel because that's what i last uploaded in move give us a little follow and subscribe uh, subscribe or oh, maybe if you like reading videos or book videos um or you want to know like my reviews of books or anything else then why not subscribe or if you just want to see what i get up to then yeah definitely subscribe because i do try to weekly vlog or weekend vlog my life especially right now i've got something interesting or exciting going on so i have done a weekly vlog this week um and it's not the best weekly vlog but it's a weekly vlog and it should be up soon but without further ado, I'm going to have some more water and then we're going to get on with this video because I'm very excited. But also don't forget to follow my social medias, they are linked in the description and they should hopefully pop up somewhere. And if not, they are in my, there's a link tree link in my description, go check it out and you can follow me on my Instagram, my TikTok, my Twitter, not that I use it that much. But yeah, let's do it. So if you think my hair looks weird, it's just because I've put the fringe bits back with the grips because... It was getting in my face and I was getting annoyed and I just wanted to film the video without getting irritated so that's what we're doing I'm looking like trash but this video is exciting I say it's exciting but I'm just really excited to do it because I've wanted to do one for a while since my last one basically if you haven't done the title I'm doing a book haul I did one I think it was like summer around summer when I ordered a load of books from like the works and Amazon and I wanted to do another one and I also Basically, I'm going to be going through my TBR cut I've got right now and going through ones that I know I'm not going to read. So some of the ones I've had probably for a while and every time I look at them I'm like, Ugh, I don't want to read them but I've got them so I feel like I have to so I'm on there. And I'm going to go through them and the ones I don't want and I know I probably won't want to read, I'm going to give to charity or give away. Um, just so that I, one, have a good valid reason for buying as many books as I've recently bought and two just because they're taking up space and they're probably not going to get read and it's just a waste of space and poor books are not going to get read i'd rather go to someone who would read them so i have a massive box i'm going to turn it around because there's a I, well, to be fair, it was a, this is what Hollywood delivered i have these boxes i got for birthday and i put all the books i'm going to be using for this video in you know it's very heavy um i bought a lot of books um recently and i got a couple from christmas so i'm going to show them all in here so some of the books i bought a while ago but i haven't shown so i'm going to put them in this as well and then recently i did i got paid for the amount of work i did at christmas with panto and i wanted to use it on something that i knew i was going to enjoy i used two tickets for theatre and i was like why not buy books so there's some series that i really wanted there was one i wanted to complete um, there was one series that I kind of started last year but it was an audiobook and I really wanted to actually get the series and then there was another series that I really wanted to read and then there's one I wanted to start so I bought one of those books. So I did buy quite a few books but luckily they're all the series but I will talk about each and every one of them because yes. So I'm just going to open the box and we're going to get in. I'm not sure how I like how flimsy these lids are. It's very hard to put these on but I don't know if I'm meant to put one of those. I'll have a look later. Um... I'm just going to go from the top to the bottom. So first of all, we have a book that I really wanted to buy. Um, and it came into works and I was like, well, I have to get it then. It's A Million Kisses in Your Lifetime by Monica Murphy. Um, so many people have spoken about this book on YouTube. I've seen it like everywhere and I really wanted to give it a read. Um, even though it's such a long book. I'm not going to lie. It's not such... It's, the last book I just read was long, <laughs> I'm not going to lie, and ever since then I'm like, oh wow, long books. But I can get through them, it just takes a bit of time, and if I like the book I will want to read it, so it's okay. Um, this book 
I'll try and read a little bit of the back, but this book says it started with a kiss. Ren Beaumont is beautiful and kind. She always gets good grades and is loved by everyone at Lancaster Prep. Everyone but Brood and Campus Bad Boy, Crew Lancaster. Crew is a rich and handsome. His life is meant to be easy, but when you have to be an overbearing father and your family own a school, the pressure to be the best makes life harder than everyone thinks. And he certainly doesn't have time for innocent girls who only care about their classes. Girls like Ren Beaumont. But when unexpected chemistry disrupts psychology class, Ren discovers there's more to life than good grades, and Crew finally understands that it's like what it's like to be in love. This could be, I feel like this is gonna be a cute, not cute, but I think it's gonna be an interesting romance story, and I'm excited to give it a read. I think it will be good, and I can't wait. I got this from the works, and for five pound, I think it was. Um, it was when I was buying my friends' Christmas presents. That's what I remember. Next we have When in Rome by Sarah Adams. I've got the cheat sheet somewhere on my TBR card. I haven't read it yet. But I don't it's not the fact that I I, I know anything about it or that I'm an author. I just like the idea of When in Rome. Right it goes on the back. Rome is where the heart is. Amelia Rose is burned out from years of maintaining her public image as pop princess Ray Rose. Inspired by her favourite Audrey Hepburn film, Roman Holiday, she drives off in the middle of the night to break for a break in Rome. Rome, Kentucky, that is. Rome, the pie shop his grand grandmother left him. Noah Walker is busy enough as it is. But after finding Amelia on his front lawn in her broken down car, he decides to let her stay in his guest room. On a very temporary basis, of course. And the two of them grow closer. Noah starts to see a new side to Amelia, kind-hearted and goofy, yet lonely from years in the public eye. Amelia may have to go back to her life, other life someday, but for now she's perfectly happy. Falling in love with the cosy small town she's found herself in, and her grumpy tour guide isn't half as bad either. This is, I will say, giving me grumpy sunshine vibes. Um, even though she's like a pop star, I feel like she's sunshine. He's grumpy, so, so definitely give me grumpy sunshine vibes. So I've got a bit of a dry throat, and talking is kind of hurting it, so I shouldn't be filming this, but I want to film it whilst I have time. Um, so. Yeah, this book I'm really excited to give a read. This was part of the works to um, three for six pound deal, so you've got, you've got to believe I bought three, two other books, and I'm pretty sure these are I've seen these around TikTok and like BookTok and BookTube um, recently. So I know this is exactly um, not popular, so I'm excited to give this one a read. If you didn't know, I do go by like BookTok or BookTube for trends, especially ones my favourite BookTubers read are the ones I'm probably going to buy because I know that I'm probably going to like it because a lot of their recommendations are ones I like and I've read and I loved. So, excuse me. The next one I got is Booked on a Feeling by JC Lee. Um, on the back it goes Liz Lizzie Chung has her life mapped out, become a lawyer, join a prestigious law firm. Make partner in progress, so it's got ticks on the back. Go, Lizzie decides, I'm just going to read, not all the whole poem, because it's four paragraphs long. Lizzie decides that what she needs, what she needs is a place to recharge, and where better than a small California town where she spent her childhood summers with her best friend Jack Park. Now that Lizzie's back, Jack has three weeks to spend with the girl of his dreams, while considering his decades-long crush on her. All I'm going to say is friends to lover vibes, and... I think I've only, I don't remember, I think I've read one or two Friends to Lovers books. And, I mean, my favourite one was Love and Other Words, if I've read two, but I've definitely read this one. And I loved that one. I'm not sure how I feel about Friends to Lovers, because I'm just not. But I do love the Sanders book, and the cover is pretty. Look how cute that cover is. Like, I don't know who designed it, but cute. And I just love the colour. And I just love everything. It's so cute. The next one I bought is The Key to My Heart by Leah Lewis. I basically picked it up because it's, about, it's got something to do with music. And anything to do with music is A Key to My Heart. Part of the, plan, the, part of the use of the title, but it's true. Can you ever move on for the love of your life? Some people spend their whole lives trying to find the one, but Natalie had found him and married him. And then Russ died. Two years ago, her whole world was shattered. Still, now she feels like she's trying to piece her broken heart back together, one day at a time. But then she finds a sheet music, a sheet of music, one that only Russ would know, in a piano store in St. Patrick's Station, where she's secretly been playing for the last few months. 
for the first time, Natalie realises that maybe life does still hold a little magic and with every note she plays she feels as if she's unlocking another fragment of her heart. But will she ever truly like find love again after she's all, she'd already found forever? And I think this is a really sweet book, a really sweet story. And I just I know it's gonna probably make me cry, but I really love it and I can't wait to give it a read. Okay, then I got two books for Christmas from my friend who I can't even say works for me anymore because she left. Um, but she bought me two books for Christmas, which was really sweet. And one of them is actually a Christmas book, but I'll probably read it during the year anyway. But the first one is the Happy Ever After playlist. Again, music. Two years after losing her fiance, Sloane Monroe can't seem to get her life back on track. But one double take it, double, one troublemaking pup with a take me home look in his eyes is about to change everything. With her new pet by her side, Sloane finally starts to feel more like herself. Then after weeks of unanswered texts, Tucker's owner reaches out. He's a musician on tour in Australia and what's in mind he wants Tucker back. I won't read the next paragraph but for what you can get they meet and I'm going to guess they're going to fall in love. Um, but it's going to be interesting to see. I really like the look of this book. I think it's going to be a really cute one. It's by Abby Jimenez. Jimenez? I don't know. But it's a really good book and I, well, it's just a really good book. I haven't read it. It looks like a good book. I'm excited to give it a read. And then the other book she got me for my Christmas present was Merry Little Meet Cute, which when it's at Christmas time, it was going around everywhere. I saw it everywhere. Um, but I decided to get it on holidays because it was shorter and I wanted to read it for a reading vlog. So I'll either read this during the year or I'll keep it for Christmas time this year and read it as a reading vlog. But this is about B. Hobbs who takes the lead in a squeaky clean romantic Christmas movie and there's only three rules don't get involved with anyone on set don't tell anyone what you do for a living definitely don't get involved with anyone on set seriously so it's going to be for what I, it sounds like she's going to fall in love with her co-star Nolan Shaw and it's going to be interesting that's what I'm getting from it this is by Julie Murphy and Sierra Simone and yeah, I'm really excited to give it a read. So yeah, thanks peace for the presents. Um, not that she watches this, but thought I'd say thanks. The rest of this box is everything I recently just bought. I bought them all off Amazon. I'm still waiting for one to come, but I can talk about it because it's part of a massive series. But I'm gonna leave that one to last because as much as I absolutely want to talk about it, I feel like I need to wait. So we're going to start with the one I already ordered one from instead of the whole series, which I nearly did order the whole series, but I decided to wait because I do need to buy her other book of the billionaire series once the third one is out. I haven't read the second one yet, but still. Then I got Throttled by Lauren Asher. This, I, I love the cover. I love the camera. I love that it's discreet because it it's part of the Dirty Hair series and I'm pretty sure this is quite steamy from what I've heard, like, from people who've read it. But... It goes on the back. Maya, Noah Slade is a Formula 1 legend in the making. Focused, unapproachable, ruthless, on and off the track. A man with walls higher than the Grand Canyon. Excuse me. And my brother's new teammate. I want more of the prince who disguises himself as the villain. But while I crave a happy ending, he wants to destroy his. Noah, Maya Alatore is a forbidden temptation. An ambitious postgrad I should stay away from. And chaos wrapped from the back of bow. We're a ticking time bomb about wrong, about one wrong move away from exploding. I want to trip the wire, detonating together in passion and pain, because in the end, all, all's fair in lust and war. This it seems interesting. I read the fine print by Laura Asher last year, and it did become one of my favourite books of the year. Um, it didn't make a five star, but it was one of my favourite books of the year. I do love her writing style and I love it. So I cannot wait to get this a read um, at some point this year, hopefully. Um, because I honestly want to get the old books for the series already, but I'm waiting to see if I like this book because there is, I think, three or four more other ones. I can't remember how many books are in the series. So I cannot wait to get this one a read because this is the first one, obviously, in the Dirty Air series. So excited. Then we're going to do... We're going to go to the ones that I've already started the series because it makes sense. I don't know if you remember my reading vlog when I asked my, my favourite booktubers to choose my next read. But if you do, 
I read Kingdom of the Wicked, which, oh my god, I look back at it. That book is kind of out of my comfort zone. Anyone who knows me knows it is. Oh, move. This book, it literally became one of my favourite books last year. I was hooked on it and I wouldn't want it to end. So, of course, I had to get the rest of the series. There was three books of the Kingdom of the Wicked series, so it's a trilogy. And I only had the one and now I needed to get the other two. It kind of annoys me that one of them is a hardback. But I couldn't. I wasn't gonna wait for it to come out of paperback because I probably f I wouldn't forget. But then I would be like, oh, put it off and put it off because I kept putting this off last and well, after I read the other one. I kept going to buy it and I was like, you know what? I'm gonna buy it. I'm just gonna buy it. So we have Kingdom of the Cursed, which I'm pretty sure is the second one to the Kingdom of the Wicked series. That is. Um. And I'm excited to get this to read. So it's one sister, two sinful princes, infinite deception with a side of revenge. We, it was the enigma, enigmatic, en, I can't say words, enigmatic Prince of Wrath at her side, Amelia sold herself to, to become Queen of the Wicked and fulfil her vow of avenging her beloved sister. But the first will win a court of the Wicked. Trust no one. And it quickly becomes clear that nothing in hell is what it seems. And even Wrath could be hiding secrets about his true nature. Faced with backstabbing courtiers, luxury, luxurious palaces and conflicting clues, but what truly happened to her sister, Amelia finds herself on a mission to unlock the mysteries of her own past and uncover the answers she craves. As long as her sins don't catch up to her first. Oh, oh it's got flowers in the chapters this time. I'm li I literally, I cannot wait to read this book. Like... The beginning has flowers. The other one had, I can't remember if it was like a key or something. I can't really remember, but I cannot wait to get this on a read now. I just, just need to know what happens to Amelia and what goes on. This I'm so excited. And then I got the third one as well, which is Kingdom of the Feared. Um, and as much as I don't like that, it's hardback. I do like the one thing I like is the cover. It is stunning. Like the actual book cover, not this cover. I mean, it's a cool cover, but this is stunning. It is worth the hardback because I absolutely hate hardback books. I'm going to put that back on now. Um, I don't really want to read the blurb for this one just because I don't want to give anything away from the second one because obviously I haven't read the second one. The only reason I read the back of that one was because I've already read the first one. So I can get away with knowing what's like the blurb for the second one. So I'm not going to read that one because I need to know. I don't want to give it away. Um, so I will probably one of the series I probably won't read everything, but I'll read like brief facts. It's fine. You also probably don't about it because most people probably already read it yet. Anyway, the next one is a series that I really wanted to read um, because it just reminded when I heard about it, it reminded me of Once Upon a Time, and I know it's nothing like Once Upon a Time, but it just gave me that thought in my head about Once Upon a Time. Once Upon a Time was one of my favourite TV series I've ever watched. I absolutely loved it. And I loved, just the, it's just the change of every, oh, what's the word? Like, character, like, the character progression throughout the s seven seasons there was, was fantastic. And I loved it. And I, when I, um, with the, one of the books of this series, is based on one of my favourite characters from the, <laughs> the Once Upon a Time. I had to get it. So, I bought the three books of the Never After series. Um, so we've got Hooked, which is about Captain Hook. He wants revenge, but he wants her more. James has always had one agenda, destroy his enemy, Peter Michaels. When Peter's 20-year-old daughter, Wendy, shows up in James's bar, he sees his way in, seduce the girl and use her for his revenge. It's the perfect plan until things in James's organisation begin, begin to crumble. Suddenly he has to find a traitor in his midst. And his plan for revenge gets murkier as James starts to see Wendy as more than just a pawn in his game. Wendy has been cloistered away most of her life by her cold, wealthy father, but a spontaneous night out with friends turns into an intense and addictive love affair with a dark and brooding James. As much as she knows James is dangerous, Wendy can't seem to shake her desire for him. But as their relationship grows more heated and she learns more about the world he moves in, she finds herself unsure if she's one of the man known as James or the monster known as Hook. <laughs> I actually, I love, one loved the cover of this book and I just, 
cannot wait to do this by Millie McIntyre and this series is what I'm really excited for because I love Disney and I love I love the villains. I'm always personally is more interested in the villain story more than the happy go lucky hero story because yeah, I mean I, I get I get the hero story but I love hearing about the villain story. I love seeing him and I, I feel like you don't you take the, all the clothes you get at the end of a Disney film is the villain got what he deserved and I just can't wait to read something that's completely opposite so I'm excited to give this a read. Again, absolutely love the cover. Amazing. Then I've got Wretched, which I think, to be fair, I'm pretty sure this is about like the Wicked Witch at the worst, but I don't really know. I'm just going to go with that because it's green and it's called Wretched. But it is a woman can be great and terrible too. Evelina Westerly has always been a bad guy. As the brains, brawn and the botanist behind her father's drug, family's drug empire, she's her father's ruthless secret weapon. After a one night stand with a gorgeous man at a nightclub, she started, she, she sated her urges as back, and is back to her criminal ways. That is until the same man shows up as, her, as the new westerly lackey until under a different name. But Nicholas Woodworth's real secret is much more dangerous than an, an a liar. A, 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 Elias. I never can say this word even though I know it. He's an undercover DEA agent and he's hell bent on destroying the drug trade that devastated his family. Evelina embodies everything he's against and he's been sent here to be her downfall. Yet the more they learn about the darkness in each other's hearts, the more alike they seem. And when hatred turns to something more, Nicholas will have to decide whether he can love a wretched woman even if it means br bringing both of their lives to ruin. Again, excited to read this. This one looks good. And then we've got Scarred, which I'm pretty sure is about Scar from The Lion King. Um, and I don't want to be the one to say it because I, 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 I'm still sad that Mufasa died. But Scar, Scar was actually one of my favourite lions in The Lion King. I just find it more interesting to watch. Um, but I'm always a person who likes the grittier part of a film than... I love happy-go-lucky films, but when it is a villain, an actual villain in a film, I do love the grittiness of that because it brings the story together okay so once upon a time there was a king who passed he left two sons one beloved and one outcast the older of the two was set to take the throne before he, he had to find but before he could he had to find a queen who called his own the younger one was known to be unruly and unhinged the chosen queen was one to keep far away from him beautiful and cunning and the light is where she stayed but late at night it was the shadowed lands in which she played Mistakes were made and secrets forged, forgetting duty in her sense. And while the new king had her hand, her heart belonged to the scarred prince. I love a poem. Sometimes. I love I love that kind of poem. This is so cute. I, I, I well, it's so cute. I'm excited to see what happens in this one. I the only thing that annoys me is these two books are the same size. Why? Why? Um, but either way, I'm excited to read the series. Um, I don't know when I'll get to it, but it'll probably be part of my reading vlog. I cannot wait. The next one, I am so excited. The next series I got is the last series of this vlog, and vlog this video, and it is the last book so I'm going to show in this video because it's the last ones I recently bought. So I'm just going to talk briefly about it. I actually wanted to get this last year. I wanted it for my Christmas present and decided against it for now. I also wanted... I listened to the first book of the series on an audio book on audio audible and I loved it but I don't know what it is about audible the reason it took me so long to listen to it was because I like to listen to my music I like when I'm out and about I like to listen to podcasts so it took me a while to actually want to listen to the book but I did and I finished it and I loved it but I wanted the book because I wanted, wanted to like tab it and stuff but I also just wanted to physically read it um, because I feel like I get lost into a book a lot easier so because I can listen to music and read a book then I can't do that the opposite way around so I bought so if you couldn't guess it is the Addicted Sister Addicted series and the Callaway Sister series um, I didn't buy all of them because there is a few more left one of them hasn't turned up yet it's coming from Book Depository so I've got to wait for it to turn up so the one I've already listened to, I've already listened to is Addicted to You and that is the one I'm waiting on to turn up at the moment so it's on its way but I haven't got it yet 
so I could have waited to that turn up to show it in a vlog but because I got most of the rest of the books I was like you know I could just say it so I got Addicted to You which is the first book which is about which is the start of Lily and Lowe's story um Lily is addicted to sex and Lowe is addicted to alcohol um and the story I because I, I do remember the story so well and I do love the story and I loved the way it was how it turned out um it, I, it really did make me excited for the rest of the series which is why I bought I'm glad I listened to it because it gave me the idea of what the series is about so that it would make me want the rest of them not just one so and I my one of my favourite YouTubers Destiny Sidwell has literally highly raved about the Addicted series and I can understand why um, so I've got Addicted to You which is the first book um, on its way and so much actually happens in that book but I'm pretty sure it's not that thick but it's not that thin either but We'll see then i got ricochet which is the second one in the book um and it goes as a sex addict lily calloway must do the impossible stay celibate for 90 days first of all absolutely love this cover um it's a, just a dog I, I love it um it's a quite a thin book compared to the rest of the series i will be honest this is like a very thin story I'm sure I could get through it a lot quicker than I could get through the rest of them but I'm very excited I'm not going to read the blurbs for these because I don't really want to give too much away for myself um, because I want to enjoy the books without knowing what's happened in one previously but obviously I know what happened in the first one but yeah I'm excited to give this one a read absolutely love the cover I also don't want to read the blurbs because I feel like this book is going to be the an hour long if I do that for this because I've got five more books to get through I then got Addicted for Now, which is um, the next book in Lily and Lowe's story. Um, I'm guessing from the first book was this. He's addicted to he's addicted to booze. She's addicted to sex. Staying sober is only half the battle. No more sex. This I think is going to be an interesting one to read. I. It says at the top, best friends, lovers, loners, and I'm like, ooh, this is going to be an interesting book to read. I'm pretty sure the size, I know, same size, that's okay. Also, this, I need to move my cake so I can sit down somewhere. The next one, okay, I wanted the book. Don't read it. The one, the book cover I was going to get ended up being out of stock, and I could have waited. I just got the other ones and I ordered that one eventually because I won't get to it anytime soon anyway. But I didn't want to. So I ordered it and I really hate the cover but it's it's fine. It is Kiss the Sky um, which is the first book in the Callaway Sisters series. Um, this is about Rose Callaway and I, I think it's Rose and Connor yeah Rose and Connor and I you hear about because you hear about Rose in the, you see she's in the book the first one anyway I don't know the other ones but um I like I can't wait to have her story to read her story I just don't like the cover like what I just don't like people on the cover it is a bane of my existence I don't understand why people put people on the covers but it won't take away from the story, so I'm just going to deal with it. I just think it's annoying because the other covers are like white, this is blue. I am very tempted to take, try and recover it, but I think that's, that's a lot of effort just for a book. So, yeah, I've got Kiss the Sky, which is the first Callaway Sisters book, and I'm excited. The next one I've got is another, the second Callaway Sisters book. How many Callaway Sisters books are there? I should have checked. Okay, so four, there's four, and the other two are after the ones I got, so that's fine. Hot House Flower, which is the second one, and this is apparently a lot of people's favourite, but I'm not sure. This is about Rike and Daisy. Um, I, 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 this, I like this kind of colour. This is the covers I like. I think it's really cute, and I'm excited because this is a read. Love is Wild. What does it say on the back of Christmas Sky? I didn't really read that. Like, Okay, I will read the back of this one. Like, I do all the time. I do all the time. I just did. Kiss the Sky says, virgin sex addict, daredevil, alcoholic, smart ass, jackass. Her, fi her five friends are about to be filmed. Reality TV, be prepared. Very intrigued. Very, very intrigued. And then, back on this one goes, Right Meadows, meet Daisy Calloway. She's all grown up. 
I'm very intrigued to see what this was about. Um, I, oh, I'm so excited. I'm, so, I'm very happy that I have the Addicted series because this is like a series I really wanted to read last year from the beginning of last year. But getting it in the UK seemed to have been impossible at the beginning. And then I, it just became, it became a thing I just didn't bother looking into getting it. And now I was like, I have to do it. And it's going to be bad because I probably will be addicted to it. The next one is Thrive. Um, this is back about Lily and Lo. Um, I can't count. This is the fourth addicted book. But if you're doing it in order like I'm doing it in, it is the sixth book in the sixth sixth book in the series. And on the back it goes, two years will change them forever. And I'm excited to see what this is about. Um, again, love the cover, simple but nice, and no people, no people. And then the final book of this book haul, I bet you're all excited because it means half an hour of your life is now over. <laughs> but, Addicted After All, this is the last book I've got in the series so far, I will be getting the other ones by the end of the year probably, if not early next year, but Addicted After All is Liars, Lovers, Soulmates. Two addicts, one epic love stay. Again, it's about Lily and Lowe. And this is the seventh one, two, three, four, five, six, seventh one in the series. And I've got Fuel the Fire, Long Way Down, Some Kind of Purpose to Get Better. There's also the Bad Reputation one, so I'm not sure. I need to have a look into what that is. So either I've got three more to get or four more to get. But that's not that many. You know, I could probably get it this year. But yeah, I'm very excited to give this a read. I'm very excited to give all these books a read. This series, I'm very excited to like have some more books to read this year. I will be filming a unhaul my books with me, which is the ones I'm going to get rid of. And there might not be that many, but I'm going to go through it. I think I'm going to film that maybe tonight. I might do it in the evening video. Why not? Because um, then I can take them to charities around my lunch break. But I'm very excited to have some more books to read. I'm very excited to start a new series and it's going to be so much excitement for this year because a lot of these ones I do want to do reading vlogs for because I want to share my opinions and um, so I cannot wait to bring you on a journey of my book videos this year and my whole video so I do hope you enjoyed this video if you did please give it a thumbs up please comment down below please subscribe and please check out my social medias um, that are linked down below and without further ado that is the end bye